What's up, you guys? If you're looking for almost every instrument that you could ever think of in one plugin and for free, you came to the right place. So, what plugin are we talking about? Well, we are talking about Decent Sampler. Now, Decent Sampler by itself is just a sampler and is not going to have an array of free instruments that you can just start pulling from the cloud for anything you might need. However, there is a source where you can do that and pull those out of the clouds <laughs> and then slap them into your Decent Sampler plugin. And so we're going to go over installing and getting Decent Sampler and this magical place where you can get all these instruments. So first things first, If you just do a quick search for Decent Sampler, you'll be able to get the latest plugin for your OS. Just insert your information, and then you can add or not add yourself to their mailing list, and your download should start. Now, you'll want to unzip, and then run the installer. Now, if you want to install less options, you can choose the versions you want to install here, or you can leave them all checked and just click Next. And it's that quick that simple and that easy. Now if we go back to FL Studio, we can go add, more plugins, manage plugins, and find installed plugins. Then we will wait for our scan to be done. So now that this is done scanning, you can generally scroll through here and you'll see the new plugin highlighted yellow like these folders are, which will make it easy to see. In my case, that's not going to happen because before this video, I had Decent Sampler and I uninstalled it and it got reinstalled to the same file paths and locations. So as far as FL Studio is concerned, nothing has changed. Now if I go to the Add button, we will see our Decent Sampler. Now in order to add this to your drop down list, you're going to want to hit the star and hitting the star will put it in the list. Starring it, put it here and then I actually have it right here and my original link here. So if I open that, here we have our decent sampler, but no sound because we have not chosen the instruments. You can browse and look at things here that are free or buy stuff. And there's some really cool things to be had. Really quickly, I want to clean up the fact I have three of these. So we'll go plug in database generators, which is going to be our instruments. Here's one, we'll delete that. Here's the other, we'll go ahead and delete that. And now we have just the one here and the one at the bottom and top are gone. Now, if we go back to the internet, let's find where all those free instruments I was talking about are. So what we're gonna look for now is Piano Book. And we want pianobook.co.uk. Now this website, pianobook.co.uk is a collaboration of all kinds of different people who have accounts and are participating in actually creating instruments that you can put into different samplers like Contact or Decent Sampler. And if we look somewhere in here, we should have, here we go, Decent Sampler, Contact, EXS24, we'll go Decent Sampler. And now every single one of these will be A, free, and B, compatible with Decent Sampler. If you open them up, you will get to see people rating these, as well as different reviews and different things people have had to say. These people will also have profiles created by Daniel Rosenholm, hope I said that correctly. And you can see here, by this number, the amount of published sample packs that this person has and you can go and view those as well. Now, for the sake of choosing and installing something, we'll download this Wurlitzer. You do need an account, but accounts are free. We'll extract these files. And if we check this out, all we have to do is double click and install the instrument into the library. 
Now that that's installed into the library, we can browse My Libraries, and then we'll see our options here. And it's that easy. And when you're done, you can just go ahead and get rid of it. And if we give our decent sampler a quick reset, we'll see that after it went ahead and set up what it needed to set up for us, we no longer need the original setup files. So roam through that piano book website, get all the instruments you can think of, and I hope this video is helpful. If you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio. Adios.